Janet Jackson, you full of shit right now because you telling everybody else's business except for yours, okay? You might have told some little pieces of information that we already knew, goddamn. Okay, you know, and some things that we didn't know. But girl, how you gonna expose that man that that man was around here popping the pills, girl? Bucks. Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com. Today's looky looky would be our ultimate animal print turbans. Go on over there and check it out. And if you are not already a part of our book club, please hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube. And for a small monthly fee of $5, you babies, yes you, can be privy to all the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, let's continue talking about the Janet Jackson documentary, part two. Now, love bugs, just like we did on the Janet Jackson documentary discussion, part one, we will not be regurgitating the uh, documentary word for word. What we will be doing is we will be touching on uh, the events and or occurrences that happened on the documentary that I did not know about or that I want to expound on. Oh, uh, Janet Jackson, did you want some of that Tupac dingling? I mean, why I wouldn't mean, she want some of that five foot, what is, what was he, five foot five? I mean, he is a rapper. There's not a rapper that's over five foot five. If, 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 if he is a rapper and he's over five foot five, then it's an, an, an enigma. Okay. Regina King said that it was definitely an attraction between the two, but neither one would act on it. One, because Renee Alejandro, and we're going to talk about his freaky deaky ass later, was over there in the corner. And then Tupac, you know, he just, I guess, was playing it cool and didn't want to seem press. So let's move forward to the Renee Alejandro and Janet Jackson relationship, bruh. That man turned Janet Jackson into a super freak. You hear me? Because I first, like, got a... A, a little thought in the back of my mind, like, wait a minute. So he over there watching Tupac suck all over his woman? Then they showed uh, Shaza, I forget his name, Shaza, his real name is Gary. She was in a video with him, and Renee was directing the video, okay? Shaza... Damn, what's this dude name? He he was Shaza on a different world. What else did he do? I don't know, but he was fine as shit before them drugs took over, right? He Shaza pulling things out her panties and you know groping her and stuff like that. Shaza like, uh, hey Janet, uh, you got a boyfriend? She goes, yes. You got a boyfriend? Yes, he's right over there. I said, oh Lord, uh uh. Because the video was like he was telling Shaza to do things that were very sensual with his woman. And y'all, he's standing off to the side and I swear I can smell his erectile. Like, is Renee getting a hard on with all of this? Why the hell is he right there? It is like he's over in the corner. Like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. Like, Pee Wee Herman or something. Again, I will always say, 
Tauruses, as long as they can learn, earn, and grow from you, you will be a part of their lives. I believe that Renee and Janet used each other as muses. You know, that I, be I believe that Janet felt like as long as Renee was around, he would be able to get the best results out of her, okay? It worked until it didn't. Now, Janet Jackson, you full of shit right now because you telling everybody else's business except for yours, okay? You might have told some little pieces of information that we already knew, goddamn, okay? You know, and some things that we didn't know. But girl, how you gonna expose that man that that man was around here popping the pills, girl? I mean, I was floored. I was like, damn, I thought she got away from the drug abuser when she left uh, what's his name? Uh, James DeBargy alone. Child, she fell from one pill-popping dick to the next pill-popping dick, child. Come to find out, Renee Alejandro started lunching. She, being a woman who was madly in love with a pill-popper. You know, the Texan was a pill-popper. Um, hey, you have your highs and lows with it. Man, as long as they got it, then it's good. But when they ain't got it... Niggas be irritated, okay? It just got to a point where the lines were blurred, you know, because being as though he was like a, a camera guy or a director guy, he was always, you know, with the camera, shooting videos and things like that. He's trying to hone in on his craft while irritating the hell out of the people that were swirling around Janet Jackson. All I can say is this. Okay, when it come down to Renee the Holla and and them camera. Okay, and his camera. I'm sure it's a Janet Jackson Alejandro slash random woman slash random two guys and maybe, you know, a Chihuahua video somewhere out there. So then okay. we move forward to Coca Cola versus Pepsi. We know that Michael Jackson and the Jacksons did a uh, sponsorship with Pepsi. That's when we know that the Michael Jackson head caught on fire and the whole world was crying because his head got caught on fire. Child, that nigga's okay. He was okay, okay? Yeah, a lot of his hair got burnt up, you know, and some of his scalp and stuff like that got burnt up. I mean, but damn, he was okay, right? Could you imagine the money that Pepsi had to pay to Michael Jackson? Coca-Cola says, okay, so since that Jackson did the Pepsi, we're going to get this Jackson to do the Coca-Cola. Answer no, because now the rumors of Michael Jackson's uh, behavior with children is starting to surface. Okay, Coca Cola was like, um, <sighs> Janet, girl. Unfortunately, from this point on, Janet Jackson was under a high level of scrutiny because of what was going on with her brother, and as she said, guilty by association. Okay. Hey, man, you got to be real careful. I'm telling you, man, I be real careful with what I say down here on the internet because what you won't do is fuck with my wife and her job. The family okay. ended up moving in with him, Michael Jackson, to support him, okay? After MJ paid the family that had the allegations against him, okay, um, Michael Jackson contacted his sister and said, hey, let's uh, do a project together because at the time, Janet Jackson is a mega ultra superstar. Now, what I did not know about the video was this. She said that the record companies wanted to film Scream in a way where one Jackson was pitted against each other. Okay, um, they both had the same message. Look, Scream is one of the greatest songs ever made by Michael Jackson. Okay, I want to say it's actually, I mean, next to PYT, it would be my favorite song. One, because he did it with his sister, and two, what he was saying. Janet was very upset at the fact because she felt like the record labels did not want them to, to be a coexisting in the same place, you know? And I believe it was the selfishness of the record labels thinking about the money, not wanting to associate Janet with her brother, okay? Because, yeah, that's her brother, but she still belongs to us, okay? And what we're not going to do is have our item, you know, around there singing and dancing, shucking and jiving with Michael, okay, who's going through these issues. Janet Jackson said, Michael Jackson taped at night and she taped during the day. 
Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. She said she hated it. And when I look at the screen video, it's heartbreaking now. Because I really thought that those two were together having fun. Now, what's funny, okay, remember how we were talking about yesterday when Janet was screaming or non-screaming at Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis? They in the studio, okay, getting ready to record Scream, right? Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis say Michael came in and killed it in one shot. Gave to Michael Jackson did it like that, okay, okay. One try, straight through, okay? You can feel the emotions coming through the microphone. Janet Jackson... As soon as she started that blicker, they was like, uh, 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 Janet, uh, come on, let's try this again. After the scream, after the situation where Michael Jackson paid off the family, which she said she wished that he would have just went on and followed through, okay? And then that way it could have proved his innocence, right? Uh, you know, I don't know what to say. I know some people say, if I'm not guilty, I'm not going to do it. But me, I'm a lazy bitch sometimes, you know, and I don't feel like going through it. All right, just pay the bitch to go away. I have played... Plenty of ninjas to get out of my life. I have paid plenty of bitches to just disappear. I know. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Okay. I know. I know you're crying. Fuck. But can I just send you like $1,200 and then you, you know, get out of your mama's basement and then you just go away? Can I just do that, please? Because you can't live here no more because you showed me that you was crazy. So you can't live here. Can I just give you first and last month's rent so you can go away? After... That situation, I did not know that there was a meeting between Janet and her brothers, okay? Janet said at the highest, or oh, one of the highest points in her career, she said, brothers, I would be proud to open for you, okay? She said that the powers that surrounded her brothers or her brother, Michael, would not allow this tour to happen where she is opening for the Jacksons. Uh, Janet the Jackson. I think that the powers that be was um, Michael Jackson's secret drug abuse and uh, the drug dealer. Because mm -mm. if you around here hovering around, how am I getting Michael Jackson to use all my drugs? Okay. I got a whole new bitch I need to take care of in West Africa. This is where Janet admits to being an emotional eater. Okay, now we all know that she struggled with her weight, right? But the fact that she is making herself human and saying this to millions of people, listen, I am an emotional eater, okay? How I resolve my issues is through eating junk, okay? Y'all, listen, I just, listen, I, you know I just got these boobs reduced, okay? I've been around here eating hot pork skins. I don't even know why. I don't even know why they're in the house, okay? But I've been around here fucking these hot pork skins up in a sweet potato pie that was in a freezer from Christmas. It's just okay. beautiful for a Janet Jackson to come out and tell us that these are her issues also. Also, they showed us unflattering pictures of Miss Janet Jackson. Well, she was looking chubby. Okay, while she was down there uh, doing her Pilates or whatever that was when she was, you know, I don't know what she was doing. So, Janet Jackson in his documentary has been very good with telling us things but not telling us. Okay? What she said about Renee Alejandro was that uh, he was constantly on her neck telling her that she needs to look the way that she looks in the um, pictures because she's not looking the way she looks in the pictures, you know? And she said that played on her self-esteem. Because we know, you know, Janet Jackson is doing some things here and there to make herself look nice, okay? Or still look youthful, right? I don't believe that there's so much so where we're like, oh, what is that? Is that Waylon Flowers and Madam? What is that? No, oh, no, that's... Renee and Janet. No, I don't believe that's the situation. I think that that plays a big part in the facelifts because I believe she did get a facelift. This is where I'm saying that she's telling us things, but she's not telling us exactly what's going on. You can figure it out on your own that, yeah, you know, this ninja in my ear telling me that I don't look like the pictures, so now I need to go to the plastic surgeon so that I can look like the pictures. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Jabrain Dupree and Janet Jackson. Girl, all I'm going to say is this. You know, I tell you ladies all the time, don't mess with a Libra man. Don't you know they are weasels? They are excellent fathers. They are, you know, extremely loyal. They buy your nice shares. 
You know, they, they treat you like a, a princess when they're not treating your cousin like a princess. But them mother hunchies are weasels. And Jermaine Dupree ultimately admitted to us that he was getting attention from the ladies that he wasn't normally getting. You know, these is his words, not mine. Okay, but he said when you mess with Janet Jackson, uh, you know, you get women to come at you just because your pickle has been inside of the Janet Jackson. Now they want the pickle that has been inside, inside of the Janet Jackson to be inside of him. Okay, and he said he wasn't used to that. Like I said, those are his words, not mine. He enjoyed the spoils of being Janet Jackson's boyfriend. Another thing about Libras. Janet Jackson said that Jermaine Dupree did not spend enough time with her. Listen, that's our fault. We like to be free. We want to do what we want to do. We don't need to be living with our mate in order for us to be together. I told you, my wife gooed me, okay? I was trying to have a long-distance relationship with her for maybe two or three years. The bitch gave me one year and was like, get your ass down here to Atlanta. I was like, fuck. Playtime's over. Uh, Janet Jackson and the Super Bowl situation, okay? Uh, she said, you know, that Justin called her right after the incident and said, do you want me to, you know, say something? She said, no, uh, Justin, just chill over there um, and I'll take the brunt of this, okay? I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because he was a little bit younger than you, but you the woman, he the man. He, he the white man. Okay, yes, you are a Jackson, but you're still black and a female. I guess by saying that, she wanted Jan Fam to back up off of Justin. Leave him alone. Stop sending him hate mail. Uh-uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. Because where I'm from, if, if, if I'm a man, I done let the female take the charge for me. That's an old dirty dick thing. So Justin J is still a dirty dick. So, girl, you can keep that. Another thing about the Super Bowl uh, situation, they were saying that it was a PR stunt. I don't believe it was a PR stunt. What I truly believe was that it was Janet Jackson's effort to help her brother. What do you talk about, Nay? Help her brother? Yes. Her brother is continuing to go through issues in the court in regards to his behavior with children. Or, you know, or not behavior with children, whatever, right? And I believe in order to get some of the press and media off of her brother, she said, look, just go ahead and pull this thing off my titty, okay? This is just between me and you. I need to help my brother out. Go ahead. Like, nay, why would she do that? Because that's what we do over here in the, the America. Do you remember that time where all the African girls was getting kidnapped from Africa, okay? The whole world in a frenzy. Everybody looking at Obama like, what the hell you doing, Obama? We got girls over here in Africa uh, 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 getting kidnapped, but you can run over there to Pakistan and save them like, like they the, you know, the Holy Grail. But you allow these girls over in Africa to get kidnapped? Next minute you know, Solange is in the elevator kicking Jay-Z in his grapes. We ain't heard nothing else about the goddamn girls in Africa getting kidnapped. So now uh, we're moving forward to where we have Tyler Perry's contribution, okay? Uh, no, I'm not a big fan of Tyler Perry. When I found out he was a Virgo, I was like, oh, okay. You know, you know, I'm married to a Virgo, but there are things about Virgos that are annoying as fuck. Number one, y'all think, y'all know every goddamn thing. And when people come to you for um, help, or to help you, I got it. No matter if the building's falling down. I'm very happy that Tyler Perry has decided to um, allow new and young writers to assist him with his work because we were sick of his ass, okay? It was the same thing over and over again. We could tell that he was doing everything. Tyler Perry spoke about it being a time where everyone had turned their back on Janet because of the situation that happened with the Super Bowl, but he believed in her and thought that America was doing way too much. Not, not you mean America outside of the Jan fam because all of us was happy. Is that a titty ball? Was that the Janet Jackson titty ball? Glory! The final thing that I thought was profound was that she spoke about what makes her most happy. That is being 
a mother to her son. Girl, we see you, girl. You ain't show no camera footage at all of your son, girl. At all. Probably because his rich ass pappy gazillionaire over there, you know, where 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 is he from? Oh, he rich as a mother. He rich, girl. She ain't talk about that marriage either. You better don't. She um spoke about being a mother and how proud she was to be a mother, regardless of the fact that she decided to have the baby late. Everybody, including her sister and her mother, was like, I didn't think she was ever going to have a baby. But to me, like 40, 50 years old, it's like when you actually become mature enough to be a parent to me. Because in your 20s, your 30s, your teens, your body is ready, you know, super ready, but mentally you're not, you know. And sometimes that's what caused the breakdown when rearing children. But I thought that it was a blessing that she said that uh, Joe, before he passed, he got to meet his grandson. Uh, Catherine is still here. Man, I don't know what the hell them Jackson's going to do if Mother Catherine, Catherine passes. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, it's inevitable, but ooh. Ooh, do y'all notice how they call Catherine mother, but they call Joseph, Joseph? Like, why? Why did I, like, Yo, why do y'all suppose they do that? Why is that? Why do they call Peppy by his first name and Mama Mother? It's crazy. It's not that I ain't never seen it before, but why do you think the Jacksons would do it? I thought that it was so pure, you know, for her to remember her brother, Michael Jackson, and her father. Because ultimately, I believe that she did this documentary to honor her brother, Michael Jackson, and Papa Joe. I ultimately believe it. But, but in my life, was Latoya in it? Where the hell is Latoya? Eh? already done so please remember to like share facebook subscribe and visit uptopbeauty.com now remember this the same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down my naysayers my patron loves you babies have a good one